President, I too would like to thank the Rapporteur for his excellent work and inclusive uh, approach to this report. This report has drawn attention from across a wide spectrum of interests from athletes, volunteers, sporting organisations and the media. Sport is intrinsic to the lives of European citizens, it crosses social divides and borders, it unites people and it enriches our lives. A European sports policy is not about harmonisation, it is not about taking the soul of competition out of sport and it should not be narrowed down to a debate on the presence of the EU flag. The compromise text is flexible and it remains up to sporting organisations and member states to decide. The excellent recommendations in this, report, in this report on supporting volunteers, strengthening and improving access to training, education for coaches and athletes, promoting traditional sports, eliminating doping and tackling corruption in sport should not be overshadowed. This is a report that provides us with a strong framework to create a European sports policy that is based on social inclusion and enhancing sport in Europe to all the main players. As an MEP from a member state that boasts the world's largest amateur and volunteer run sporting organisations, that is the Gaelic Athletic Association with one million amateur members, I am pleased that this report has acknowledged the important role that volunteers play. There are 35 million amateurs involved in sporting organisations in Europe. The role of volunteers and amateurs is central to the continued success of sporting organisations in every community, and it is in this regard it is essential that the European Commission allocates a budget to sports policy. Sport is the vehicle that delivers on the EU broader aims across several policy areas, such as community development, active ageing, healthy and active living. It has a successful economic dimension and is a social phenomenon that delivers on invaluable public good. Finally, I would like to highlight the importance of the right of journalists to access and report on sporting events. There is public appetite for sports news and we must ensure that with sporting events of public interest we safeguard the right of the public to obtain and receive independent news and information on sporting events.